<laughs> we are talking about voting today on much important topics. Are you tired of the attack ads running? Well, they won't stop completely after today, but they could change a little, at least give you a little more variety. It is primary day here in Illinois when we get a much more clear picture of what the not so distant future holds for November. And joining me now to talk about how things are going so far and to fill you in on any last minute details that we need is Max Bever from the Board of Elections. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the invite. Thanks for being back with us. We're keeping you busy. Well, you're always busy this week anyhow. Um, but so the polls open at 6 a.m. Let me first just ask you if there were any issues or if things are running smoothly. So far, things are running pretty smoothly. We only have a handful of delayed openings. Looks like we're pretty well staffed when it came to all of our election judges showing up first thing in the morning. So if you're heading out to a precinct polling place today, make sure to thank your election judge and maybe bring them a coffee. Uh, but where we stand as of last night, it looks like we might be heading into a lower turnout for this primary election. Early votes, uh, while we did see a surge of almost 20,000 early votes as of last night, we're still behind where we were in previous presidential primaries. But we're hoping that there's a good number of voters that are out there today that were waiting or they've made up their minds to get out between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. today to their assigned precinct polling place or one of 51 vote centers. All of those ward early voting sites are also open today until 7 p.m. The nice thing about those is that you can go to any site that you want throughout the city and vote at any of those vote centers. And Max, you kind of touched on one thing that I wanted to ask you. Because early voting wasn't stellar, do you all have any expectation for today? Have you drawn up some type of, uh, you know, run in terms of what you think might happen numbers wise? Well, it looks like it won't be a record low. I think uh, the, the, that's 2012, uh, the numbers that we saw around a 24% citywide turnout and just over 315,000 ballots cast. I do think that we're going to beat those numbers, but uh, that's uh, not a very encouraging sign. But it is a very important ballot. Primary elections can be tough for voters. They have to choose a political party ballot. But there's a lot of important races on that ballot, as well as the citywide referendum question. Uh, so we're going to see how those results come in uh, later tonight after 7 p.m. Uh, we're going to see how close some of those races are because we still have a lot of vote by mail ballots out, too. As of last night, we got back over 66,000 vote by mail ballots, but we still have 109,000 that are out there and coming back uh, over the next few days that are properly postmarked. So if those uh, races are close or the referendum question race is close, we might have to stay tuned uh, over the next few days to see how some of those come back. But it's going to be a good long night, and we uh, recommend people go to chicagoelections.gov to find your voter information, find your polling place, and look out for election results later tonight. And, and just on a final note here, you mentioned you know some of the important topics that are on the ballot today. Sometimes it can be overwhelming for people, or maybe um, you know they kind of forget what they thought they were going to do once they get there, or the wording seems a little strange. Uh, I want you just to finally touch on uh, bringing notes in, or maybe looking at a sample ballot before you go in. Absolutely. We want voters to be as comfortable as possible as they head into the polling booth. So you can bring a, a cheat sheet. You can bring your phone with you. There's any type of research uh, you can take along with you uh, heading into the polling booth. Uh, just don't take a picture of your ballot uh, if you can avoid that. Take a selfie with your I Voted sticker instead. But sample ballots are available at chicagoelections.gov. You can go there to our Your Voter Information page and find your specific precinct ballot. Make sure that you know all of those candidates and judicial candidates. Many resources out there for voters, too. So take a look online. Uh, do your last-minute research before you head in that booth so you feel confident voting. Max, we've really come a long way when we have to give instructions for selfies. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much. We appreciate you as always. Uh, you know, Fox 32 has election season covered on air, online, and with our You Decide section on Fox Local. Stay on top of local campaigns and the race for president even streaming anytime. To get Fox Local on your smart TV, search Fox Local on these streaming services. Download and watch today. And we've had Joan.